Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And I thought I would do a beach swipe um, on this wood round I got from Home Depot. It's an 18 inch, one inch thick wood round. Um, and I thought it would be nice to turn it into a table or something like that, or just hang it on the wall. I don't know. I've got a big um, neighborhood garage sale coming up, and I always sell my art there and do pretty well, actually. So um, I have my Sherwin Williams color to go, the very last of my white here <laughs> that I had I had stockpiled a bunch before it all went in shortage. So this will probably use the last of it. And they have lots of colors mixed up. I'll run through them real quick. I have some Joe Sonia Phthalo Blue. And then I have some, um, I believe it's, it's Matisse Flow Southern Ocean Blue. Those are my two paints, two paints. And all the rest are this little piggies, pigments. I've got Nightfall, which is a beautiful purple. Mermaid, a beautiful, like, pretty little blue. Then I have Glisten, which is like an interference blue-green, Sea Glass, which is one of my very favorites, Golden Peach, and Harvest Gold mixed with some Van Dyke Brown. And then I have some, ah, what is that one, the green gold? It is Shimmer, the um, green gold. So those are gonna be the ones. And then I have Indigo um, by Atelier and Amsterdam Titanium White for my cell activators. So. I first put down a coat of um, polycrylic Minwax on this wood to kind of seal it before doing this big swipe. I hope this works out okay because now that this white is, I know it's going to be the last of it, I just, I don't want to waste it. I want it to be good, like a good use of my final white. <laughs> but we'll see, won't we? Okay, so I've got my pillow out there. I even have a little bit left. Yay! All right, now let's just get right down to it. Um, I wonder... Not that it really matters, but I do kind of want to have this, like I don't want it too closer on one side than the others because then that'll tilt off before the others. So I'm just going to kind of rein this back in a little with a little stick. All right. And hopefully that's enough. Oh, you know what I'm going to have to do too? <gasps> you know what? I'm going to do something real quick. I am going to wet these sides a little bit. With just some pillow paint so it goes all over the edges evenly and doesn't get drippy droopy. And I'm just gonna use my hand for that. I just think it'll be easier. <laughs> so I'm just getting the sides just up to where the top is. I know that's not very fun to watch, but I think it's an important step. And you can't, I mean, you gotta be pretty quick once you get all this down, because I don't want that to dry. And it's not on very thick around the edges, so. But you know, the edges are a little rough. They're not as sanded as smooth as the top here. They're basically smooth, but I just wanna help it glide over the edges a little easier. So that's all that this is for. Okay, sides are covered. I'll put my lid back on. Now I'm going to wipe my hands real quick. All right, now we'll get started. <laughs> I 
All right, so now I'm gonna start with some Nightfall across the top. Beautiful kind of purple. So I think I'm gonna just kind of go right across the top up here. And this is a pretty big board, so I'm gonna use kind of a lot. Okay. Next to that, I'm gonna have some phthalo blue. And I'm gonna kind of overlap them just a little bit. And this is using my new favorite pouring medium, which is the Dutch Boy, which you can get at Menards. I don't know if Menards is nationwide or not, but it's a high gloss trim door cabinet base. And I just love, love, love it. I was gonna do, I think I'll do my mermaid next. I was gonna do my other paint, which was a Southern Ocean Blue, but I want some shimmer in between the two. Now I'm gonna do my Southern Ocean Blue. I just love kind of tealy, kind of a tinge of green in the ocean pores and beachy pores. And so I love this more than say just a blue blue. Now right on top of that, I'm gonna put some of the Glisten, which is an interference blue-green. Well, actually, I think what I'll do next is the sea glass. I had these all laid out in the order I wanted and I'm, I'm switching it up here. So here's that green I like. And I love sea glass, I tell ya. And the sea glass, I'm gonna even run down here a little bit just because I like the idea of some of this lighter ocean water coming in on top of the sand. Now I'm gonna do my glisten, which is my blue-green. And I'm gonna kinda of put that right, right on up in here. On top of those colors. Hmm. Now I'm gonna do my Harvest Gold mixed with the Van Dyke Brown. This is like the beachy area. Then I've got some Golden Peach. Oops, let me hold that out of the way. Because I like the idea of kind of the pink sand beaches also. And now the interference I'm gonna put down here is Shimmer, which is a green gold, which I think will go nice on top of the beach area, right? It can go nice there and then all the way down here. All right, moment of truth. Oh, I think, I think I'm gonna put a little more blue up here and purple up here. Oh, I almost used all my blue. Okay. My swiping tool. I was trying to decide between the extra large number one and this kind of pie server that I have. And I think it's a big enough surface, I'm gonna do this pie server. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kinda load it up. Okay. 
I noticed too that I never, I don't think I need to load quite so much on the back because I will often do my swipes and not even touch the stuff that's on the back. <coughs> Sorry, frog in my throat. Okay, so there's my indigo. I just kind of laid it on. I don't want to do it directly over my my colors. And now I'm just going to kind of pour some of this white on top of that. But I don't want to... Okay, so there's my double cell activator. And I'm just going to kind of start up here and do... It's a big area, so I'm going to have to do that twice, I think. Two cell activators. Because I can already see. I didn't quite press down. I pressed nice there, and then I kind of ruined it. <laughs> so let's do this again. I just poured some on and I'm going to spread it out. And I'm just going to pour on some of this white. Starting back here. Now I think I'll just do some white. So now I'm just going to do some plain white cell activator here for this last little area. I probably have way too much paint. As I can see, it's already going spoojin over the edge. And here, I think I'll start from this way. I wish I hadn't come back over that, but it's too late now. I already did. All right. I think I have way, way too much paint, but let's kind of tilt this off to the sides to get it to just kind of tip over the edge. I, I don't want to go too far. So I'm going to tip this over this way too. I really wanted that purple at the top to go over. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could come back through here with some cell activator, but I like the streaky. I like that I got a streaky here and a streaky here, and even a streaky here, which I think I'm gonna lose. So let's spin it now. just kind of has a, a life of its own since it's, it's kind of heavy. It looks to me like all the sides are covered. I'm just kind of watching them from here. Just looking at my sides. Yep, they're all covered nicely. And I think that's quite pretty, actually. I like the idea of the night sky up here. And then we've got some water. I mean, me, even maybe that sky, too, where the cells are. And then some water, like the horizon here. And then we've got some waves and stuff coming in. And then the beach. I really quite like it. I think it's pretty. And I'll make a really beautiful um, either table or wall hanging. So I'm going to wipe my hands off and bring you down for some close-ups. There's a lot of really beautiful shimmery goodness in this with all those TLPs. This little piggy pigments, they're the best in my opinion. All right, so get a close up here of, oops, I'm getting paint on my phone. 
that's not good of the top of the sky and then you know I've got that kind of mellow mellow place without the cells and I've got more cells here and that was the indigo and white up there and then I left this just streaky and then down here I did just white because I just wanted the idea of kind of some waves and see and I started it from over here and so that's where most of the cells are my swipe I did and then I kind of came back this way and I wanted, remember I said I wanted to put a little bit of that green down here, the sea glass, because I wanted the idea of the water going over the beach, and I kind of like it. I think I kind of have that happening. So there's my 18-inch wood round. Um, all the sides are covered nicely, and I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's quite pretty, and will make a beautiful either piece of wall art or table. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. And, and um, give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome too. But until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye now.